My name's Joe Cara and I'm the Chief Engineer at Crystal Mastering in Melbourne. I've been mastering for about 30 years now and my journey started in the early 90s doing cassette mastering uh, where I progressed to CD mastering and then just mastering in general and these days I'm even working in Dolby Atmos. Crystal Mastering is a full service mastering studio. We do mastering for streaming, for vinyl, as well as surround formats like 5.1 and Dolby Atmos. Some of the clients I've worked with include King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, Amel and the Sniffers, Courtney Barnett, The Slingers, Genesis Owusu, The Murlocs, Teske Brothers and heaps more. Over the years, like many studios, we've tried to improve the room and we've added to the room. The acoustic treatment and the acoustic signature of the room was pretty spot on. But having used the room for some years, there were certain niggles and things that, you know, come to the fore and you want to just get absolutely perfect. So after playing with a few different acoustic devices to try and help the room get even better, um, I landed on PSI Audio Active Bass Traps and they essentially helped tighten that little bit of bass that I always wanted to get perfect, a little bit of a room resonance that was sitting there. The PSI Audio Active Bass Traps just helped tighten it up and I could really hear the difference switching them off and on. All those little niggles that I had uh, seemed to disappear and seemed to flatten the room right out. Uh, as a mastering engineer, I cover lots of genres and some of that work includes doing uh, electronic music, which has really deep bass lines and a subsonic, a lot of subsonic content. And so to master that accurately and to know exactly what you're doing uh, EQ-wise, hearing content from 20 hertz all the way up uh, is very important, uh, particularly when you're trying to identify rumble and resonances and things that might cause translation problems on playback systems. Even though the room was sounding pretty good without the traps, with them in the room, there's a level of articulation and definition that really assist nailing those problem frequencies. For any audio engineer that is really striving to get a high resolution monitoring environment, I would definitely advise checking out the PSI audio bass traps. After using them for some time now, I couldn't imagine working without them.